Hey, what's up everybody? Justin Myers back here with another video for y'all. In today's video, I wanna discuss how to make your drive pedal sound great. Now, before I go on with the video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Join the family, guys. This is a wonderful community. We're talking everything and anything music, vintage guitars, guitars, guitar gear, the music business, just pretty much anything. And also, join my new Patreon page. I just started it up. It's 20 bucks a month. I'm going to be doing live streams. I'm going to be doing one on one Q and A's. I'm going to be doing all kinds of different things, um, you know, and you can pick my brain of the music business and, and get my opinions on different gear. And, you know, I can consult with you guys as far as what you are searching for in your tone quest and in your guitar playing. So come on in, join the family, join the Patreon. 20 bucks a month. It's patreon.com slash Justin Myers guitarist. And also be sure to like the video and drop a comment down below. Thank you all so much. Now on with the video. So in today's video, I want to discuss how to make your drive pedal sound great. Now there's several ob observations that I've made and that I've seen with many other guitar players that are playing these drive pedals and you know, they say they don't sound good and this and that. And it's like, you know, obviously not every drive pedal is created equally, but it's also a lot of user error as to why these pedals do not sound good, right? One, the first observation that I would say is that guitar players play with way too much gain, way too much gain, okay? So what my suggestion would be is to take the drive knob or the gain knob, however it's labeled on your drive pedal, turn it all the way off to start with, completely down at zero. Now take the level, and this will vary pedal to pedal, but just as a general point, is a starting point, put it at two o'clock. Okay, and then just set the tone just straight up at 12 o'clock just to get started. Now, turn the gain slowly, increase the gain very slow until it starts to get comfortable under the fingers. Now, also another thing that I would say with this is depending on the amp that you're playing, right? If you're playing a Fender Princeton Reverb, let's just say for, for example, that amp has got to be set up on three or four or five, you know, the louder you go, you know, where you, you get it right on the edge of breakup, that's really where you wanna see that amp and how you wanna hear that amp and it's best. And it's gonna make your pedal sound the best that it can. So that's also another observation that I've made is that a lot of guitar players play at 0.5, maybe one on the master volume and Guys, guitar needs to be loud and proud. You know, that's just how you're gonna get your best tones. That's how you're gonna be able to just really play well. You're gonna respond better. You're, as a player, are gonna be a lot more comfortable with your phrasing and your ear is going to pick that up and you're gonna be so much happier with your tone. And so that's why I say, you gotta set the amp up louder. You gotta set the Princeton Reverb on three or four or five, somewhere in there where you can get it right on the edge of breakup and then hit it with the pedal. So now from there, that also will alter how much gain that you are playing with because the amp is set up louder and you're already getting some, the edge of breakup, you're right on the edge there. So it's going to alter the way that you set your gain on your drive pedal. So now start dialing up the gain till it's comfortable under the fingers. Now, another thing that I would say that is really great to have with a drive pedal is the exotic RC booster, the version one I particularly like. I like it better than the newer version in my opinion. And also a Boss GE7 equalizer pedal. These two pedals will help tremendously in shaping the tones of your drive pedal. Now I'm gonna show you guys an actual example of my pedal board that I use live all the time out on the road as a professional musician. And I mainly use it for kind of lighter, kind of more traditional kind of country music, 
that I get hired on for. I could even do some rock gigs with it, but it's not going to get super heavy gain, you know, which honestly is not really what I go for anyways. Um, but it just would really depend on the music as far as when I would go to this board. But it's a very flexible board. And on my personal pedal board, I have an original Nobles, Ram Nobles. It's an ODR1. That's the exact same as the original Nobles, but it's just rebranded under the Ram logo and the Ram, you know, Nobles that was made. And so on that particular board, I run a Exotic Effects RC Booster before the Nobles. And now some observations that I've made with the Nobles is that the original ones are all different, right? So this is kind of a hard thing to really generalize, but at least with my particular Nobles that I play through, it's a little bass heavy, you know? And um, it's just kind of inherent with those pedals, at least the ones that I have played. Now, like I say, they, they are all different. So I can't say for every single Nobles that they're going to be bass heavy, but my particular Nobles that I have, I just absolutely love the way it sounds. So what I do is I do exactly what I was just saying, dial the gain into taste, the level up at two o'clock and the spectrum, you know, 12 to two o'clock, somewhere in there. And um, just depends, you know, on what I'm feeling. But then what I'll do is I'll kick on the exotic RC booster beforehand and shave off some of the low end and some of the bass off the pedal, add a little bit of top end and even just a little bit of gain, not very much, just a little bit of gain and set that level up to two o'clock. So I'm getting a nice little boost that's going to kind of clean up the low end and add a little bit of top end and even add a little bit of gain which is really nice under the fingers for a lead part or for a solo or something like this, you know, just to have that little bit more. And so then on that board, I have a Boss GE7. Now the Boss GE7, I'm running post the Nobles. So the way that I use that just for this particular application is I normally will kick that on just for a solo boost and I'll add a little bit of mid range. It's like the 800 and the 1.2 K I believe are the two sliders, the particular frequency. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's the two mid range um, sliders that I just boost just a little bit and just a little bit of level increase just to get a little bit of a solo boost and a little bit more mid range, a little bit more level. So it really cuts in a mix. And so the reason why that I recommend the Boss GE7 as well is because it's just such a flexible pedal. You can really use it however that you want to use it. You know, if you wanted to do it in this application, the way that I do it, where I add the mid range and I add a little bit of level for a solo boost, you could do that, obviously. If you wanted to run the Boss GE7 before the Nobles, you could really get tweaky with the way that the EQ is. If you want to dip the low end, boost the mid range, add high end, add, add level. So it's adding more gain to your nobles. You know, there's just a lot of ways that you could use this pedal and it just really is a flexible pedal. And I really highly recommend it to anybody out there. And it just will really make your drive pedal come to life with these few tips. So just to repeat what all that I was just saying, number one, take the drive pedal, set the level knob, to two o'clock, the tone straight up the middle, just right at 12 o'clock, and turn the gain all the way off, turn it to zero. Now, take your amp, turn your amp up to three, four, five, somewhere in there where it's right on the edge of breakup, and then turn on your drive pedal and start slowly increasing the gain on the drive pedal until it just feels comfortable under the fingers. And then from there, you can expand upon that drive pedal and that drive tone where you could add on a RC booster from exotic effects and run that pre drive where as again, as I said, you wanted to scoop out the low end or add a little bit of top end, add a little bit of gain, add a little bit of level, however you want to set it. You have a lot of flexibility in changing the way that your drive pedal is sounding. And then also, having a Boss GE7 equalizer. This pedal is like your best friend, you know? 
It's just an amazing, amazing pedal. It's just so great. I mean, I really highly recommend that everybody gets one. Honestly, you have to have a Boss GE7. It just works so well. You can tweak your drive pedal to sound however you want it to sound. You know, if you wanted to run it pre the drive, you could change up the EQ of your drive. You can add level so it would add gain. Or if you want, want to run it post, you can add EQ to it. You can add mid-range. You can add a little bit of level so that for your solos, they're really jumping out in a mix and really cutting through a mix. So these are just a few tips that I would say that will really make your drive pedal sound great. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of demonstrating here so you all can hear for yourself exactly the way that I do it. So I got my pedal board plugged in here. I just have my 64 SG standard, just the all original, amazing guitar. Um, really sounds great. And uh, I'm just going straight into my Pedal Train Classic 1 pedal board. And if you guys haven't seen the video, I'll just give a quick, a quick brief rundown of um, exactly what's on the pedal board. And uh, if you haven't checked out the video, be sure to check it out, it's really cool. I go into full detail of what exactly is on the board and uh, how I use everything. So be sure to check that out. And I'm just going straight into my 66 Fender Princeton Reverb out of the pedal board right into this. And I uh, really love this amp. Again, it just sounds amazing. This combination is just tonal heaven. <laughs> In my opinion, it just sounds great. So I'm super happy with it. And uh, let me know what you guys think too. Drop a comment down below of what, I love hearing from you guys and, and what you guys think. So it's, it's really cool. And, um, but anyways, so basically just a quick brief rundown here is um, I have a Ram Nobles ODR1, as I was saying earlier, and I have a RC Booster version one and a Boss GE7. Now these are the pedals that I'm gonna be using to explain how to get your drive pedal to sound great. Now, obviously all drive pedals are different, but this concept will really help make whatever drive pedal that you have sound good, right? And um, something that I did want to make mention was that the level knob on your drive pedal is incredibly incredibly important because this is going to be your blend of the clean guitar with your drive pedal, right? So you have to get the level up, way up, because you don't want that clean tone coming through your drive pedal. It just doesn't sound good, in my opinion. You know, um, it just does not sound good. So, of course, it depends on what you're going for, I suppose. And, you know, there's no right or wrong way to go about doing this stuff. This is just in my opinion that I don't like that sound at all. So, you have to be really mindful on where you are setting your level knob on the drive pedal. So, for me with the Nobles, I find that at right about six or seven, it really is enough. So it'd be like, you know, two or three o'clock, basically, somewhere in there. And, um, you know, it just really works well because the drive pedal is getting over the clean tone. And like I say, when the clean tone is blended in with the drive, I don't like the way that that sounds at all. It just is not a good tone, in my opinion. So, I have the RC booster as well that I'll kick on as well. And um, I'll make mention of that as well when I'm playing it. But I'm just gonna start off here with the Ram Nobles so y'all can hear what that sounds like. Now, to my ear, there's a lot of low end, but it's a very sweet sounding pedal. You know, it's very low gain. It just is a great bass tone to get started with. And that's really something that I go for with these pedals is that I like to have a bass tone and then expand upon this tone. So that's why I have the RC Boost beforehand and the GE7 post the Nobles. So I'm gonna start off here with just the Nobles and let me know what you all think of this tone. And then from there, I'll kick on the RC Boost 
And then from there, I'll kick on the GE7. So all three pedals will be on at that point. yo so just some final thoughts here just wanted to um talk about the tone here a little bit i really liked the tone a lot i thought it sounded absolutely amazing and uh let me know what you all think i hope that this video really helps out with um you know dialing in your drive pedal and it helps you out on your tone quest you know it's a, it's a never-ending journey and uh but it's you know it's, it's a lot of fun and uh messing around with the gear and trying to find that tone that really inspires you and really works for you is a very fun thing to do you know it's it's really cool and once you finally find that exact perfect combination that works really well for you 
it's just a really magical feeling. So I hope that this really helps you guys out in dialing in your drive pedals. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Please subscribe, like the video, and drop a comment down below with what you guys think. Thank you all so much. Love you all.